I don't know how much to chop this video, so I'm gonna start with what's up, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> it's just Jax to you. Thank you for liking, thank you for subscribing. Come say Stay hi to Creative homie. 96. Y'all all know me. Health is wealth. I'm tired and I need to stretch. I'm all sweaty. <laughs> Whole body. We gotta build that mind money. What is it? Not my money. My mind is always mind a money. muscle connection. My muscle connection. <laughs> <laughs> and my money. <laughs> So I decided to lead with these. You just put a weight on your shoulders, squat down and sidestep all the way across your room and then work your way back. Dre and I actually ended up doing three rounds of this. It's really supposed to be one round, take a break, but we went back and forth for three rounds. So this little movement ends up activating your full body, right? So you're getting work in your legs in your quads in your glutes in your core in your back i mean i kind of feel like this is a no-brainer if you try this one and you don't need to add weights if you're not on that level um but adding weights you know helps you build up some strength maybe a little mass depending on what your diet is like but i strongly suggest trying these these are part of um, some of the drills we used to do when i used to play basketball except we had to move way faster <laughs> um but I think they're a great addition to any warm up or any cardio day. Now we just moved on to um, squatting with bands, right? This adds a little bit of resistance, but it's nothing crazy. Remember, I'm using this as a bit of a warm up, but I mean, we were drenched in sweat as you saw in the beginning. I like to do these for 25. So we did four rounds of this. So if you're at home and you're gonna try it, try to go for a hundred squats whatever band um, feels good to you. Dre used like a intermediate, I used an even lighter one until I realized that like I was kind of playing myself and I had to go with a stronger one. But your quads will be on fire. Remember that a squat is quad dominant. It's not really a glute exercise, just contrary to what most people think about the squat. Um, depending on your positioning with your feet, it's really all about your um, quads. So keep that in mind. I just, I'm fast forwarding it just so you guys can get an idea. Everything that we did, we did three rounds for the exceptions of these. These we ended up doing um, four sets because I wanted to hit the 100 squats. Um, and Dre just had five more. He's such a freaking good sport, man. This guy works so hard. I mean, I don't think I know anyone that works harder than him. Then um, we're just going to do lunges, right? But one leg at a time. I wanted to really chew up my quads this day, apparently. And I ended up being so sore for days. So if you follow this at home, just know that tomorrow, the following day, you're going to be in a little bit of pain, but it's worth it, it's worth it, it's worth it. So with this, I just told him to do as many as he felt he could. Um, I think I was shooting for like either 10 or 12, but whatever you do on one side, you have to hit the other leg. And I like to do exercises that target one leg at a time. Um, that's how I've been trained. And I find that sometimes one leg is weaker than the other and you might have to work a little harder on one leg, but you'll learn a lot about your body. And then in the beginning of this video, I talked about mind muscle connection. With this movement, remember we are staying upright. So when we stay upright, we hit the quad. If I was going in the diagonal in the forward, it would be more about my glute. So that back leg, that back leg I'm just using for balance. It's all about um, my quads. Here goes the fast forward again. I'm sorry, guys. I had to make the video last a little longer. So please bear with me in a little fast forward. <laughs> but definitely just know this is all about the quads. Now this movement ends up being full body and this is gonna get your beats per minute really going. Again, another full body. We're squatting a little deeper. We're using the momentum. But when you hit that momentum, remember to keep your core engaged as you go up. I like putting things over my head because I find that it makes my abs work a little harder. We're involving our arms. Um, I'm grunting because right around number eight, it starts to feel chaotic. I think we did these for 20. I'm not really sure, but I think these are great. You could do them with dumbbells. You don't even have to use anything if you don't want to, but it's good to add a little bit of weight, some resistance to the movement. Um, 
Yeah. You can do these. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh my gosh, the way I yell and grunt is so crazy. Alrighty. I'm moving on to the last thing. Good mornings. I'm explaining to him about good mornings, right? So it's a primary in our hamstrings, but a secondary to the glute. Make sure you keep your core and your back super engaged through the movement because you're kind of building strength everywhere, but this is all about the hams. But don't sleep because this really does get your back looking uh, a little more arched if you're interested in, in that kind of shape, um, which I am. The goal for me is just to try to retain as much weight in my, lo my lower half and just cinch my waist and burn through fat whenever possible in other areas. So do good mornings. I, I think that everyone should do good mornings. Think about it. Most people that get injured, you'll find, you hear people say, talking about like, their back is out, pinched nerves in their back. This is a very lightweight. You don't even have to add weight to do good mornings to feel them. So highly recommend you guys get these done at home. Uh oh, I didn't notice Dre dropped his headset. I love his, um, his headsets. And as you're learning these, don't don't even trip about form as long as you're staying with a very, very, very lightweight. Because you will get stronger and you will be able to correct your form. Remember to hinge at the hip. Um, I like doing these straight legs. It's like, imagine you're pushing a door closed with your butt. <laughs> That's how I imagine it. So this, you guys, is a warm-up, but not really because we did three rounds of things. So we ended up drenching sweat. It took us about 30 minutes. If you do this at home, try to shoot for three rounds. Um, don't skip it on the good morning. <laughs> It'll really build you. Thanks for um, liking, subscribing, and being so supportive of my journey.